So in 2012, could the sharks of Myrtle Beach have been inflicted with a disease that changed their behavior, making them more likely to bite swimmers? According to Dr. Dan Huber, it comes down to a shark's immune system. For animals, the skin is the first line of defense against any type of an infection. So the skin is part of the immune system, essentially. I'm looking at a section of shark skin, which shows what are called dermal denticles, which are basically little teeth that make up the scales of a shark. The denticles perform a unique function in a shark's immune system. Dermal denticles creates a very uneven shape that bacteria have a hard time adhering to. Because the bacteria can't adhere to it, they can't form colonies, and this is something that helps sharks to resist bacterial infections. And there's also another organ that helps protect sharks from disease. Their liver. The liver produces a chemical compound called squalamine. The squalamine is dispersed inside the shark's cells. If a virus invades the cells, the squalamine prevents it from multiplying. So the virus doesn't spread, and the shark doesn't get sick. Scientists are even testing squalamine to fight cancer in humans. This remarkable immune system means that sharks might be one of the most disease-resistant creatures on Earth. Any suggestion that the sharks could have become ill due to a virus or a bacterial infection isn't very likely because sharks have very strong immune systems. So disease is not a factor in the spike of attacks.